All right. Even Martin Lake and over to Spruce. Cue the, uh, the Top Gun Kenny Loggins music. I wish I could add that to the video. They probably ban my account. Mastery comes into play. You definitely don't want to get out and walk right here. <laughs> You'll probably sink into your to your chin in some this mud that's at the bottom. I wouldn't want to get out.
I'm almost to where I'm going to camp. Get rid of some of this food. Have some delicious wine. I just remembered, on Loon Lake, I read there's cattails there, and there's really cool, you can eat them, and uh, there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do with them, like you can eat the roots and stuff, and they're super good, I'm going to go try to find some more babies, and I, look, I was looking at cattails a long time ago, I can't remember what you do with them. <laughs> I guess that's the nice thing about the internet, which I do not have at all. I'm going to have to think about that long and hard tonight. I think that the lower stems, I'm just guessing from memory, the lower stems get real tender and you can fry them up or something. Also, you can grind the seeds into like flour, which is neat. I remember I was, probably like 10 years ago, I was going to come out here. I, just I was going to come out here and, um, just for the cattails. Because they just don't, they don't grow anywhere on the peninsula here. And by the way, we live, this is all taking place like in Sterling, Alaska. It's on the Kenai Peninsula in Alaska. Ooh, a fish just went away. And uh, there's cattails around, like, some places, but they're really rare. So to find some would be kind of fun and delicious, possibly. All right, I'm literally, like, 15 minutes away from my campsite for the night. And I'll head to Loon Lake tomorrow. It'll probably take me all day. Oh man, this is so cool how this opens up. Absolutely beautiful. It's nice and warm out. The bugs actually aren't too bad. No mosquitoes out really. There's black flies, but if there's just even the slightest breeze, they're, they're history. Once I get into camp and I get a fire going, they don't like that either. So. It's going to be a nice night. Right over, there. just 
just across the way, I'm seeing fish jumping everywhere in these lily pads, like right ahead of me. Yeah. Cast the line out, see if I can't rip some lips off. tonight just to eat as much as I can. This rod freaking casts like no other. It literally casts like twice as far as my other pole. And there's a fish. There's a fish. Hoo hoo hoo! Oh, got off. Oh man, this is just a little hot bed right here. fishing I've seen this whole trip. Yep, fish. Oh, yeah. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, my God. That's a nice one. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, it's, he's a little guy, but... Dude. <laughs> Hot spot. What I thought was going to be a campground ended up not being a campground. There was nothing there. Some of the maps with the campgrounds that you know, that are listed or, you know, haven't been updated in like 20 years and they're just overgrown. So, I ended up going two more lakes and two more portages. One of them was a third of a mile. And I had to, do, of course, double carry, so I'd do it four times. And then I paddled across this lake right here and the wind picked up super fast and uh, there's some pretty big waves. It got pretty scary. So I finally made it. I'm at the Rock Lake Portage. Yeah, dear God, I'm absolutely beat. Uh, now I gotta set up the camp. Get a fire going, get some food. Oh man. Anyway, I'll, let's take a look at the campsite. There's the canoe with the way too heavy backpack. This is the trail to the next lake. I was going to camp at Spruce Lake, but there's people on, on it. 
and they joked around about asking me for some of my wine. <laughs> so I'm too. I'm like three lakes away from them now. Anyway, this is wow. This is some old stuff right here. This fire hasn't been going for a long time. Somebody made. <laughs> I love it when the things that people make, like some benches or something, so freaking cool, man. Look at, I mean, these trees are growing here. These little willow trees are really cool. So I'm gonna put my tent right there, have a beautiful view. <sighs> Breathe a little bit. Not a bad campground. I'm glad that uh, I skipped over those other ones. They were looking really bad. Well, anyway, let's get started. Setting up camp. Okay, so finally get to relax at camp. Best part about camping is the food. Ooh, yeah. Anyway, I'm making, got some dirty rice going. And these are Alaska reindeer sausage. Like I said before, get rid of all of my heavy stuff. This was my one splurge. But they sure are going to be good. Alright. Good morning. It's day two. Just woke up, kind of started a fire, had some coffee. And I'm having some breakfast. So I guess this morning I'm doing these, uh, Nut house breakfast skillet and I'll put it in the tortilla. This is funny. This is probably like been sitting in my uh, crawl space for probably like five years. So we'll see how this is gonna taste. But it's sharp as hell, so I like it. <laughs> well, it smells good. Breakfast skillet. Wrapped. Yeah, it's not a bad campsite. 
I would have preferred to get on one of the islands as uh, you're always kind of like super aware of every little sound that happens in the forest you know when you're not a, at least when I'm not on an island I'm constantly just hyper aware of bears and every little sound that happens around this morning there was a bunch of like commotion going on in the water on the lake that my tent's right next to and a couple of get out go check I went and checked it out and there's a couple of ducks like messing around but you know kind of scared the crap out of me a little bit but um just gonna have breakfast and get everything packed up I got a three quarter mile portage to the next lake which is going to be Rock Lake. I'm pretty excited about this this lake. There's a lot of pictures uh, all over the place of uh, there's this giant rock right out in the middle of it. So I'm going to get some cool shots of that, I hope. But being three quarter mile portage, I really hope I don't have to uh, double carry, which I think that I will. But. This is actually really good. Yeah, I recommend this one. But it's nice and early, and I only have two portages to where I'm going to camp on Loon Lake. I hope it has fish in it, because the lake that I'm on is dead. I haven't seen one fish jumping, nothing. I heard Rock Lake has coconut in it, but I'm not sure, I'm just going to see when I get there, I guess. You can tell when there's fish, there's just lots of lily pads and, you know, there's just activity all over the place, and you see fish. I've seen tons of fish right up until I got up to this lake. The last lake with, that I was on, it was a uh, south uh, spruce. Dear God, there's this lily pad um, patch that right next to the portage. Oh my gosh, there's just fish everywhere. I was catching them almost every cast. I didn't keep any because I didn't want to carry anything. But it ho I'm really hoping that Loon Lake has some fish on it so, so I can have some fish for dinner. And I'm hoping to stay there two nights. So, I just took my backpack on this three-quarter mile portage, and uh, right on the trail, fresh bear scat. I've never seen it fresher. Like, it looked like it just happened. So, uh, continued to take my backpack all the way to, to the lake. It's about halfway down the trail. So coming back was not cool, <laughs> and I could say I'm not happy right now. Um, really have to suck. I mean, it really sucks having to walk back towards where there's a bear in the area. So anyway, now I have the pleasure of carrying the canoe back to Rock Lake, and in between there's that. There's, so there's definitely a bear in this area. I'm not happy. I can tell you this, uh, walking back on this trail, I had my pistol like in my hand ready to go. Even though not, I have the pistol, it's still super scary. And it, these woods are really thick. You can't see like even 10 feet into the woods. It's, they're just really thick. So anyway, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll film it this this way, and I I hope I don't run into it. That'll suck for the bear and for me. So anyway, here we go. Oh, yeah. 
I cannot wait to get to the end of this thing. Get some water. I'm like super thirsty. I think uh probably carrying this canoe would make a bear pretty nervous because he looks pretty big I'm guessing to a bear plus now I have my canoe paddle with me so I can hit it with that if I have to Quarter mile is probably gonna take me about 15 minutes. Do not want to see a bear. I'd love to see a bear if I was in my canoe on the lake, then he could get me. I can hit the side of the canoe, make lots of noise. sometimes it's definitely better than nothing in my opinion I'm sure other people have other opinions I saw a video of a girl in uh, Southeast Alaska and there's a little black and uh, she's on a beach with uh, with a kayak so she was like on a boat and then she could uh, kick her kayak out these little bits or something Anyway, so she just shows a video of her on a beach. Her kayak's down by the water. She's about 100 yards away from it. Checking out some cabin or something. Doesn't really show it. But here comes the black bear. You know, and the thing, and that's what, in the video, it doesn't really look angry or anything to me. It just looks kind of curious. Like, it's just like wondering what the heck she is. So anyway, it like, kind of comes up to her. Kind of like just meanders up to her. And just like kind of looks like he's checking her out. Anyway, she's freaking out. She's screaming at it. It starts to get really close. And she pelts it with bear spray. And I'd say it worked. I mean, it deterred the bear. And the bear kind of backed up. You know, you could see that he didn't like it. But definitely didn't like it. He didn't run off or anything. So there she is on the bear. On the, on the beast still yelling at it and uh so the bear goes over there and starts freaking railing her kayak starts biting it clawing it all up she's screaming at it oh that's my kayak what the heck you doing you know at the time i watched the videos it's kind of just like i was uh, to be honest i was kind of laughing about it it was pretty funny so i just thought the bear was acting like he was just playing around. But I can't imagine how freaking terrified she was. That had just been so scary. I don't know, you should, uh, if you wanna see it, you should get on YouTube. pretty interesting. Man, I can feel the wind start to blow. This next lake is a uh, rock lake. It's got this huge freaking rock over the side of it. Really cool. Can't wait to check it out. 
but this is a huge lake. If there's wind, that means waves. I kind of noticed in this thing, this canoe, the one thing I don't really dig about it is the seat is uh, kind of high. And then it's on a little sliding rail, which is kind of in the middle of the canoe. So when it gets windy or the it get the water gets kind of rough, I like to get on the floor of the canoe. It gives you way better center of gravity. You can then you can handle those waves. But when you try to do that in this canoe, you're like a little too far forward to avoid the the rail system thing that's on the floor. See, yesterday it got pretty it got pretty rough on an outer lake. I got these little croc shoes with me. I just put one of those on there and sat on it. From the, the little rail that's on the floor it worked all right. I gotta say, I, I really like this new trend where these these Adirondack style canoes with the seats um, like glued to the floor. And then people paddle them around with kayak paddles. I really dig those. And then also they're only about, I don't know, 12, 14 feet long. So they're 26 pounds and under. I think a company that I really like is that Swift Canoe Company, but I don't know how to get one here in Alaska. I imagine it'd be a real challenge trying to get it shipped up here, especially getting it here undamaged. Part of me just wants to like get in my truck and just drive, drive to Canada. Oh. Go grab one of those dogs. But we got a Winona dealer right here in town. Winona's got this one called the Wee Lassie. It's pretty cool. That same dude that I said had that bear counter. He's gonna order one next summer. That thing should be tight. Oh. 